Hello everybody, my name is Oleg and today we are going to talk about uh, when to sync and when to async in the Blazor. So we will be testing it on the Blazor WebAssembly and uh, hopefully uh, this video will clarify you this aspect. So let's proceed with it. So first of all let's open our Blazor app which we have created beforehand. It's the usual Blazor WebAssembly uh, with no hosting from the ASP.NET site. And here we have the usual pages. So we have the template counter page, which will be modified today. So what's the difference between sync and sync flow? So let if we say in general, so uh, how it's there. Uh, um, how it how it's said in manuals so uh, a sync, sync flow is the flow which could block the main uh, thread and the async flow is the flow uh, which uh, could not block uh, your main thread anyways so let's try both ways and let's see how it look for the real user so here we have the counter property and let's create the property string message which will equal to the empty string. Uh, next, let's keep this one and let's have uh, two methods uh, which will simulate the sync and async flow. So let it be void sync task, sync task, which will be. Uh, function of three statements. So first it will be a message that sync task. Sync task started. The next one will be uh, putting our thread into the slip for five seconds. It, while uh, this is a millisecond timeout, we should multiply our value by 1000. So it will be uh, 5000 uh, for 5 seconds. And here we will update the message and say that our sync task has been finished. So here is the sync variant and let's proceed with the async one. So let's copy this one. It will be the async task. And here we will have the async task started, async task has been finished. And uh, instead of doing this, uh, we should uh, call the uh, task task dot delay instead of sleep. So it will be delayed by five, five seconds and we should await it. So this way and also we should make the async task instead of void. So here is our sync task and here the async task. Both are simulating the real workflow. So let's do it this way. And let's create first of all here we have counter. Let's create the better if we modify this to message so not to create the uh, additional elements uh, here we will have maybe let's do it three rows that is row is not obviously needed here so click count and uh, let's create other two buttons to call these methods so here we will have the button warning one and here we will have the button success for the sync task and async task respectively and let's update the caption also here so it will be sync task and it will be the async task and let's run this and see how it behaves Oh, and here we have all these three buttons. Currently, we have uh, have no clicks, so let's try here. We have the click increment. Okay, that's fine. And let's run the async task. Not the async, but the sync one. So we are starting it. We are trying to click, and obviously we have 
we just see this message yeah that sync task has been finished and the message of its start has not been fired has not been fired at all and uh, no clicks which we have done while this task running uh, have, have not been updated so yeah that's strange okay let's run one more time and let's try to interact with our ui so as you can see yeah so the task updated and only there our ui has became responsive okay but let's try a sync task instead so we are uh, we are picking this one a sync task started and here we go so uh, UI is updating the consistently uh, without any delays or without any lags. So and let's try to uh, well, let's try our navigation. So let's run the sync task, and as we can see, no responsiveness here. So yeah, only after the task completion. But let's try async task instead, and let's go here. And yeah, probably while well, we have gone to the other page, so. Uh, our async task has been cancelled, but if we are running on this page, we are clicking this button and yeah, so we have completely responsive UI when you are using the async task approach. So and here is the main difference. So when we are using the sync approach to the task, uh, we uh, we are completely freezing the user interface. So that's not very good because if uh, you have the application with uh, the interface which should be responsive, so when the user, for example, uh, asks some uh, data retrieving or some data saving and so on, now he clicked this button, he had started the job and next he, uh, he or she wants to communicate with the interface, but there is no way because the interface is completely, um, completely inaccessible. So that's a bad case. Uh, but if you are utilizing instead of the sync approach the async one uh, you have this uh, interface completely responsive so here and you are free to interact with interface anywhere you go so and that's the main difference so uh, usually those examples are shown in such technologies like windows forms so just uh, for one platform because uh, windows forms uh, unfortunately unfortunately not the cross-platform one but the same paradigm uh, resides in the web too so if we are doing a, even a blazer app even the blazer web assembly which runs completely in the client browser so we have just the same approach here so in terms of sync or async and if you are choosing between the sync and async approach you should consider the two main things so first of all what is the timing of your task because if the task uh, is completely insufficient in time like saving uh, one string or pulling uh, one string uh, from the database and so on which uh, could complete just in ticks not even uh, not even milliseconds that you should uh, in this way uh, you can uh, stick both to the sync or async task while this uh, task is not user input blocking but if this task uh, could be a potential blocker and with a uh, large timing so you should define it def uh, definitely consider just to async approach so no other ways uh, and uh, if you want uh, your uh, customers ui to be completely responsive you should also stick to the async approach because uh, the sync approach does not uh, guarantee this way so that's it and these are two these are key points of difference between this one and this one so the uh, real world, world task uh, will uh, act completely the same way so there's no difference and that's it so hopefully this video uh, should be useful for you if you have any comments or updates please uh, uh, please uh, write me so i'm uh, open to discussion and uh, yeah so have a nice day bye bye